I'm guilty of what they said right to back. you was a lie that you can't believe is true. It's a lie. Alright, so what we're doing here is Mike is a heavy CrossFit and we're trying to work on getting him better. Uh, along the process, I'm catching a workout in myself. Okay? I don't dive into CrossFit. Uh, I work with certain elements. Um, I severely injured myself. Uh, I uh, ruptured a tendon in my bicep, the distal head. And so what we're what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to improve strength um, and, and motion um, and basically just get quicker because I need to reteach my whole arm. So, wide receivers could do this, running backs, this is good stuff. We can turn. We don't, we don't worry about putting extra weight on. All we do is worry about foot push, foot position, and and hand quickness. This is not something where we get a lot of weight on. Okay. So, trying to improve grip strength, speed, explosiveness with your hands. It's good stuff, and it's also very functional. All right, now, Mike is crossfitting, and he's over here, and he's hitting it. And so I decided to come over here and do just some functional training, okay? Functional training on the side. All I'm coming, I'm coming through the hips. Change our feet just a little bit. Make it more functional. Progression to what I was doing is this, okay? I still hold on here, but I move and what I try and do is I try and move so fast that the bar doesn't move, okay? And if the bar doesn't move, see if it moves, then I'm not moving fast enough. And remember, all I'm working on here is hand speed and I'm not putting any weight on here, okay? I'm just working on hand speed, so I would switch it off, okay? We can move it up and down the bar just to get more confident. So that's all we're doing. I never let the bar leave my hands, and that's the big deal with that. Okay, keep it safe. You can also change. Practical stuff to get you better. And we're just making it work. So here we are on a Monday morning. Um, I'm going to be doing a barbell complex here, uh, supersetted with another um, Olympic lifting accessory movement. So the complex here is going to be one snatch balance with three seconds in the hole, immediately followed by an overhead squat with three seconds in the hole, and then we're going to repeat that one more time. So we're doing total two snatch balances and two overhead squats, but we're breaking it up. We're the hole, it's going to work on our stabilizers coming out of the hole. Uh, for somebody like me who has uh, decent amount of shoulder um, flexibility issues, staying down there in a full squat overhead is, is uh, it's a challenging position. So if somebody has a little more shoulder flexibility, this might be easier. So this is perfect for me because it's something I need to work on.
timing wise, if you're, if you're planning on doing, um, you know, I'm following the outlaw way right now with Coach Rudy, and if, if you uh, are trying to plan how long this is going to take, he, you know, he recommends about an hour if you do it correctly, and he, he says there should be about 15 to 20 minutes of some type of strength work in the beginning. He usually has some type of complex or a superset in there that takes another 15 to 20 minutes, and then you've got a, a, somewhere between a 10 and conditioning wad in there, maybe throwing a little midline at the end, and, and you're looking at about an hour. Now, we took a little longer today because um, we mobilized a little bit more than we normally do, so you know we're a little bit over an hour, but you know, whatever, snatch balances and overhead, overhead squats. Uh, we'll take maybe like a two minute break to tie our shoes up and maybe practice a couple double unders, and then we're gonna go immediately into the conditioning wad, which is a 10 minute AMRAP of 16 kettlebell snatches and overhead squats, very similar to um, this complex right here. Jump right in, I'll take you for a ride. Jump side, go, I'll take you for a ride. Let's go all, I'll take you for a ride. For a ride, whoa! Time. She's gonna breathe, give a breath about anything and I